Okay, so this is the Lego Star Wars Character Encyclopedia. This is a new book for 2000 and I think it was winter of 2011. Um, I managed to pick it up um, a couple weeks ago. Pretty nice little book. Uh, kind of the main reason I got it, and I think everyone uh, is going to get it, is because it does have the award ceremony Han Solo. And if you bought the last Lego Star Wars di the book, the Visual Dictionary, it has the Luke award ceremony figure, so there. Uh, that's kind of the main reason most people get it. But it's a very nice book. It's done by Dorland Kinsley, as you can see. Uh, and despite the pretty big cardboard page to keep the minifigure sealed in there, basically what it is uh, is it's every episode um, plus the Clone Wars and the expanded universe. And kind of everything about the characters. So you have Qui-Gon and the original Qui-Gon right there. And it kind of tells you about the figure and what's new and what's old. And you can see right here it says it was updated. They updated his tunic and utility belt for 2011. So it's, really, it's pretty cool. They show uh, a lot of the different figures. There's the new Darth Maul. Captain Antilles, Han Solo, they show the sets that they're in, uh, how many different versions there are, and uh, it's, it's very cool. I really like it. Um, the only figure that I found that wasn't included, um, let's see if I can find it in here. Um, there we go. For Boba Fett, you can see they have the original and then the Cloud City version, and then the bronze one, and then the new one. But they don't have the solid white one. Um, that's the only figure that I found that wasn't listed in here, uh, which is kind of interesting. But they do have like the Chrome Stormtrooper and Chrome Darth Vader and the Gold C3PO and kind of all those other really rare ones. But they didn't have the white Boba Fett that I could see. So very very cool book. Um, it's like twenty dollars. Uh, you can get it from Lego or uh, basically any. Any bookstore should have it right now, um, as of February 2012. Uh, but it's very cool. It's very well done. Very good pictures. Uh, pretty up to date. You're not going to see the newest figures in here, which is kind of a bummer, because obviously when they did this book, um, this the new sets weren't out yet. They weren't fully redesigned or fully fully imagined. But uh, a lot of the stuff is in here. You see, they have Savage Oppress. Um, a lot of cool stuff like that, so, um, very, very nice book, very well put together, uh, 206 pages, I don't want to go through all of it, because I don't want to ruin it, um, but very, very nice, um, fun to look at, and there's a lot of interesting facts in here that even I didn't know, so, uh, I do recommend picking this up, um, over 300 minifigures detailed, so, there is that for you guys, just a quick little review, very nice book, $20.00. Definitely worth getting, plus you get a cool figure. Uh, it's the only place you can get that figure. Same thing with this one. The Visual Dictionary is the only place you can get the Award Ceremony Luke. So, if you want to get that as well. Uh, the figures aren't really that rare right now uh, as far as value because the books are still on sale. So, give it some time and they'll, uh, they'll definitely be worth a little bit of money. Uh, but very, very nice book. I, I do recommend it. Uh, as far as news, right now there's not really any other new sets that uh, are coming out. Uh, if you watch, or if you pay attention to the toy fairs that just went on in New York, uh, they just announced all the 2012 summer sets that are coming out in about July. A lot of really, really cool stuff coming out, uh, including some stuff from the game The Old Republic. Uh, a lot of Episode 1 remake stuff uh, in honor of the 3D release of Episode 1 as well as some other uh, remakes as well. So very, very cool stuff to look forward to. I will be picking up a couple of the smaller sets that I didn't get um, from the 2012 release, like the Droid Escape um, R2 and C-3PO in the little escape pod with the new Stormtroopers. I'll still be getting that. Um, right now my biggest thing is I just launched my second channel finally. Uh, it was on delay for a long time because I was waiting for the main piece to come in. 
But if you go to my main channel page on this on this uh, account, and about halfway down on the right hand side, it will say other accounts, and you're going to see Tame Media Reviews. If you click on that, that is my second channel I've just started. It's going to be all Xbox and games and tips and tricks and achievement guides and Halo clips and funny stuff and cool stuff and a bunch of stuff like that. So I, I just got my first video up uh, a couple days ago. The process for making those videos takes quite a bit longer, but I'm going to try and get as many videos on that site as I can, as quickly as I can. It is a lot more time consuming due to uh, recording and editing and it takes up a lot more space on my uh, my, my laptop. Um, so it's going to take some time, but I'll definitely get as many videos as I can. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check out that channel, subscribe if you want to, and uh, let me know what you think. So there is that. Um, character Encyclopedia, very, very cool. Um, I hope you guys like that, and I'll see you guys soon on this channel or my other channel. And thank you guys for watching.